yes welcome back to the session in this video i am going to discuss about perfect elastic head on head collision between two bodies okay so look at the diagram here i have two objects the first object mass is m1 which is moving with velocity u1 and the second object of mass is m2 which is moving with velocity u2 so here u1 and u2 are the initial velocity of the two objects before collision okay so these two bodies are moving in same direction like this let us assume u1 is little greater than u2 then what will happen after a small interval of time these two bodies m1 and m2 collide with each other right so during the collision both the bodies will interact like this therefore after the collision the first body of mass m1 which is moving with velocity v1 and the second body is moving with velocity v2 so here v1 and v2 are the final velocities after the collision okay so here uh, according to law of conservation of linear momentum so i'm writing here according to law of conservation of linear momentum conservation of linear momentum so it tells about before collision momentum is must be equal to after collision momentum that means so before the collision momentum of these two objects will be like this m1 u1 plus m2 u2 which is equal to after the collision momentum of the first body is m1 v1 plus second body momentum is m2 v2 okay so this expression i am going to rearrange in such a way so this is the momentum of the first body initial momentum of the first body before collision and this will be the uh, momentum of the first body after the collision right so this m1 v1 i am going to take left side let's see the next step m1 u1 this plus m1 v1 becomes minus m1 v1 which is equal to what is the rest right side here m2 v2 minus this one m2 u2 uh, look at this equation carefully one thing one thing is common left hand side what is that m1 is common term right so take m1 outside so m1 into the rest of the equation is u1 minus v1 which is equal to right hand side also m2 term is the common term right take it outside m2 into v2 minus u2 okay so let us assume this is uh, equation number 1 okay so after getting this equation according to elastic head on head collision not only momentum is conserved kinetic energy also conserved so the next one i'm going to calculate kinetic energy also conserved let's see so we know that the basic formula of kinetic energy is half mv square right so first of all i'm going to write for first body that means for first body means initial kinetic energy is half m1 u1 square plus second body kinetic energy we can write it as half m2 u2 square which is equal to after the collision velocity changes from u1 to v1 u2 to v2 right so right side i am writing here half m2 sorry sorry m1 v1 square plus half m2 v2 square same thing uh, initial momentum of the first sorry initial kinetic energy of the first body uh, final kinetic energy of the first body i'm going to take one side let's see the next step uh, before that what we are going to do here left side halves right side halves cut the rest of the equation is m1 u1 square plus m2 u2 square is equal to m1 v1 square plus m2 v2 square okay 
so initial and final kinetic energies i'm taking one side let's see the next step m1 u1 square this plus m1 v1 square becomes minus so minus m1 v1 square is equal to m2 v2 square and this term becomes minus minus m2 u2 square okay so look at this equation carefully uh, left side m1 is the common term right side m2 is the common term so take it outside let's see the next step m1 into u1 square minus v1 square is equal to m2 into v2 square minus u2 square let us assume this is equation number 2 so after getting this equation 1 and 2 in next step what i'm going to do here divide 1 by sorry divide 2 by 1 so i'm going to divide the equation 2 by 1 let's see the next step so equation 2 means m1 into u1 square minus v1 square is equal to m2 into v2 square minus u2 square divided by equation 1 is m1 into u1 minus v1 is equal to m2 into v2 minus u2 okay so after get after writing this expression let's see the next step uh, numerator m1 denominator m1 cut here similarly numerator m2 denominator m2 also cut the rest of the equation is u1 square minus v1 square is equal to v2 square minus u2 square divided by u1 minus v1 is equal to v2 minus u2 okay so this is the expression i got right so look at this equation carefully the numerator term u1 square minus v1 square it looks like a square minus b square formula right so what is the meaning of a square minus b square a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b right so same thing i am going to write here so in numerator term u1 square minus v1 square means uh, we can write it as u1 plus v1 into u1 minus v1 is equal to similarly this term we can write it as v2 plus u2 into v2 minus u2 divided by denominator term as it is i am writing u1 minus v1 is equal to v2 minus u2 okay so look at the numerator and denominator this u1 minus v1 and denominator u1 minus v1 cut similarly here v2 minus u2 and denominator v2 minus u2 also cut what is the rest of the equation here u1 plus v1 is equal to v2 plus u2 right so look at this equation i'm going to a uh, next uh, slide just a second so therefore finally i got u1 plus v1 is equal to v2 plus u2 v2 plus u2 so this is the expression i got finally right so in this expression easily we can calculate v1 and v2 okay so first my aim is i am going to find what is v1 here okay so from this expression if you want v1 means we can write v1 is equal to what is the rest of the equation right side here v2 plus u2 and this plus u1 i am taking right side then that is becomes minus u1 now i am assuming this is equation number 3 now what i am doing here this equation 3 i am going to substitute in equation 1 okay so i am writing the point here substitute equation 3 in equation 1 okay so what is the equation 1 here equation 1 is m1 into u1 minus v1 right so i'm writing here m1 into u1 minus v1 formula is this one so instead of 
uh, this v1 i am going to substitute this formula here how to write this one v2 plus u2 minus u1 is equal to right side is m2 into v2 minus u2 m2 into v2 minus u2 so this is the expression i got so look at this equation whatever the m1 term here this m1 is multiplied with u1 m1 is multiplied with v2 m1 is multiplied with u2 and m1 is multiplied with u1 let's see i'm going to expand this step so first m1 u1 so here minus will be there now so minus m1 v2 m1 v2 again plus of minus is minus only right next m1 into u2 so minus m1 into u2 then minus of minus is plus so plus m1 into u1 is equal to right side we have m2 v2 minus m2 u2 so m2 v2 minus m2 u2 okay so after getting this step what i'm going to do here look at here m1 u1 term will be there here also plus m1 u1 so we can add these two terms right so if we are adding means you will get 2 m1 u1 minus m1 v2 minus m1 u2 is equal to m2 v2 minus m2 u2 so this is the expression i got right so after getting this equation now what i'm going to do here take u1 times and all one side uh, u2 times and all the other side let's see the next step so this term as this i'm writing 2 m1 u1 minus m1 u2 plus here minus m2 u2 is there no that is i'm taking right side plus m2 u2 is equal to uh, this is m2 v2 right so i'm writing here m2 v2 and here minus m1 v2 will be there that is i'm taking right side then it becomes plus m1 v2 okay so this is the expression i got so after getting this equation look at here here m1 will be there here m2 will be there but u2 term is the common term so we can take it outside let's see the next step 2 m1 u1 minus uh, this term we can write it as plus m2 minus m1 m2 minus m1 then it becomes plus right yes m1 into u2 is equal to uh, m2 plus m1 into v2 m2 plus m1 into v2 okay so this is the expression i got right so from this expression so this v2 term i am taking left side so v2 is equal to 2 m1 u1 divided by this term so what is this term m1 plus m2 so here plus will be there plus what is the next equation here m2 minus m1 into u2 divided by again this term m1 plus m2 so this is the velocity of the second body after the collision expression okay so finally i got v2 okay now i am going to calculate v1 to calculate v1 so again i am going to use this third equation i mean this one okay so now my aim is i'm going to find v2 so from this equation v2 is equal to u1 plus v1 minus u2 minus u2 okay so let us assume this is equation number four now after getting this equation number four again what i'm going to do here uh, substitute 
this equation 4 in equation 1. So what is the equation 1? Equation 1 is this one. So here I am going to substitute. Okay. Just a second. Yes. So first I am going to write the same expression there. M1 into U1 minus V1. M1 into U1 minus V1 is equal to M2 into V2 minus U2. So V2 formula this one right. So instead of there, I am going to write this expression. So V2 means U1 plus V1 minus U2 minus U2. minus u2 okay now again i'm going to expand this step let's see how it is so this m1 is multiplied with u1 so we can write it as m1 u1 minus will be there minus m1 is multiplied with v1 so m1 v1 is equal to m2 is multiplied with u1 so m2 u1 plus will be there plus m2 is multiplied with v1 m2 is multiplied with v1 minus will be there minus m2 is multiplied with u2 okay and then minus m2 is multiplied with u2 so minus m2 u2 okay so left side there is nothing will be there but right side minus m2 u2 and minus m2 u2 that means minus two times of m2 u2 let's see the next step so I'm going to write the same thing m1 u1 minus m1 v1 is equal to m2 u1 plus m2 v1 minus 2 times of m2 u2. Okay, so after getting this step, now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to u1 and u2 terms one side, v1 and v2 terms other side. Let's see how it is. Okay. So first this M1 U1 as it is I am writing. M1 U1. And here. Plus M2 U1 will be there. No that is I am taking left side. Plus becomes minus. M2 U1. And this term also. This negative term also I am taking right side. Left side. So minus becomes plus. 2 M2 U2 is equal to what is the next rest of the equation here m2 v1 so here minus m1 v1 will be there i am taking right side minus becomes plus m1 v1 okay so after getting this equation here also u1 is the common term right so take u1 outside the rest of the equation is m1 minus m2 into u1 plus 2m2 u2 is equal to right side is v1 is the common term right so take it outside m2 plus m1 into v1 okay so after getting this equation easily we can calculate v1 right so bring this v1 left side so therefore v1 is equal to m1 minus m2 into u1 by this thing what is that m1 plus m2 so here plus will be there plus 2m2 u2 by 2m2 u2 by sorry 2m2 u2 by uh, m1 plus m2 okay so this is the uh, v1 formula okay so let us assume this is equation number uh, one second yes no need so finally i got v2 and v1 okay so after getting this v2 and v1 still continuation is there that is a special case so i'm going to for i'm going for a next slide just a second yes let's see the special case So here special case is nothing will be there it's very simple suppose if mass of the first body is equal to 
mass of the second body which is i am assuming only m that means m1 is equal to m2 is equal to m so this expression i am going to substitute in this equation and in this equation okay then what will happen let's see so first uh, v1 term i am going to use this one okay let's see v1 is equal to v1 is equal to m1 minus m2 means m minus m into u1 right so we can write it as m minus m into u1 sorry one second yes m minus m into u1 by m1 plus m2 plus will be there plus 2 into m2 means m 2m into u2 u2 by m1 plus m2 means that is nothing but m plus m okay sorry here also this is m plus m only okay so m minus m means 0 only right so this complete term will be 0 therefore v1 is equal to what is the rest equation here 2m u2 2m u2 by m plus m means 2m so 2 2 cut m m cut so finally i got v1 is equal to u2 okay similarly at the same condition i am going to substitute in v2 formula so what is the v2 formula here so v2 is equal to 2m1 u1 so v2 is equal to 2m1 means m u1 divided by m1 plus m2 that means m plus m plus m2 minus m1 into u2 so m2 is nothing but m minus m into u2 by m plus m so look at here m minus m means 0 right so this term becomes 0 what is the rest of the equation here so v2 is equal to 2m u1 by m plus m means 2m so numerator 2m denominator 2m cut the rest of the equation v2 is equal to u1 okay so this is special case one right now coming to the case number two case two our uh, case two is very simple suppose if initial velocity of the second body u2 is zero so whenever u2 is zero uh, this second body is at rest state right correct or not yes so based on that if u2 is equal to 0 i am going to substitute in this equation and in this equation okay so if u2 is equal to 0 means this term will be totally 0 right what is the rest of the equation only this much so we can write it as v2 is equal to uh, therefore v2 is equal to 2m1 u1 by m1 plus m2 okay now the same condition u2 is equal to 0 i am going to substitute in v1 formula also so u2 is equal to 0 means this term becomes 0 because here u2 will be there so if anything is multiplied with this 0 you will get 0 what is the rest of the equation only this much so v1 is equal to m1 minus m2 into u1 by m1 plus m2 okay so i hope you understand thank you thank you so much